Hey, how's it going, everybody? Drew here over at Arcturus Cinema Headquarters. And at any rate, I just wanted to make this quick video because I have a very exciting announcement. So one of the things that is going to be happening this year is I'm going to be making a cyberpunk short film and it's going to be part of a series of related cyberpunk short films. So I'm just super excited about it. It's going to be all the these short films are related to my TV pilot for my cyberpunk series that I already have written. And so I figure it'd be really great to make these short films that are related in the same uh, universe, have the same themes and, and all that jazz. So I'm super excited about it. And essentially, the first one I have outlined, so I already have it outlined right here. As you can see, it's going to be pretty awesome. This is the ending I outlined last night. Some crazy stuff happens in there. For those of you who have not seen my cyberpunk short film, which is the proof of concept for the series, which is Binlow's Locker, I definitely going to include a link that for you to check out that you can watch the trailer and all that jazz. And and if you would like to purchase a copy of the of the film, I definitely can hook you up. Just just DM me. But essentially what, what's going on is the series is about this villain. You know, he has taken this brilliant scientist who works for this mega corporation. He develops this breakthrough like brain chip designed to help people who, who are disabled, allowing them to communicate with computers just by thought. And so what the villain has done is he's used this technology for nefarious purposes to to turn veterans who are down on the luck into sleeper agents who who do his bidding and do his dirty work for him. So the first short film, like I said, we're still I have it outlined. I'm in the process of writing it right now, and we're gonna shoot it this year, and it's gonna follow very very similar kind of to the Binlow's Locker short film. This veteran is realizing there's something more to his 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 nightmares and to him forgetting things he's forgetting certain things that he's done it's going to be a great way to introduce the problem in this in this story and that and the problem is these veterans who are being preyed on by this this evil mastermind right this the villain and then you introduce the protagonist of the story who are obviously trying to stop him from doing that. But the problem that the heroes face is these sleeper agents, you know, are like, look like normal, normal people. We can't really spot them out and stuff. But anyway, so it's going to be really, really exciting. It's going to have, we're going to shoot it here in Las Vegas. It's going to be really, really cool. I have a plan that I've worked out on how we can do that and use certain locations to create that cyberpunk look here locally without having to do everything CG and crazy. So that will be really nice. Another thing I'm just super excited about is that we're going to be keeping things in camera as possible when it comes to the practical effects and things of that nature. Just the keeping in the spirit of the Binlow's Locker film, you know, the proof of concept. If you watch that, a lot of the effects, we really strive to make that in camera as possible. So we're definitely going to keep in line with that. And, and then we're also going to have towards the end of the short film, there's going to be an awesome fight scene. There's going to be some awesome action in there. And we're really going to shoot it in a very gorilla kind of very immersive kind of way, like a very similar look and feel kind of like to Ben Lowe's in those locker, but we're going to take it to a whole nother level. So it's going to be really, really exciting to to work on this short film here in Vegas because it has a different vibe and everything compared to San Francisco where we originally shot Ben Lowe's locker. So it's going to be really cool, like different vibe. And it's just going to be really exciting because after this short film, I would love to do, I have a couple others in mind to centered around different characters, right? I want to do a short film about how the villain became the villain. I would love to do a short film about, you know, the, these other people who don't know who their sleeper agents and and what their double life is like and, and things of that nature. At any rate, I could talk more about this, but I just wanted to to share. We're gonna we're gonna make this this year in 2024. 
And so if you're passionate about the genre and you love indie films and you'd like to support that, a link down below, again, on the on the page is a link to Ben Lozacher. You can check that out. And on there is a donate button. So feel free if you feel so inclined, if you'd like to just grab a copy of that short film or if you'd just like to show your support, uh, we greatly appreciate it. We definitely will keep you posted. And thank you so much, everybody, for checking out this video. And you guys have an awesome one. Thanks again.